This is the, um, the final cultivator. Um, basically, it's a very shallow cutting of weeds. So if you if you've got, for example, a stale seedbed and you want to go through with a machine and just work ever so shallow, perhaps two centimetres across the whole soil profile and cut the weed base, um, we can do that. We've got spring time on a, on a Cutting pieces are all at different angles, so we can change the angle of how those um, how those um, points sweep to you. Stand out to the middle, you can see them in what we call the neutral position, but then some of them are left forward and the other side are left back. a very um, thick mass you can obviously end up with um, the problems that you can, you can leave it uneven after the rows of tines that's why we've put the harrows on there which are they're adjustable both vertically and the rake angles adjustable so you can have them quite passive or quite aggressive if, uh, just depending on what's required to suit the uh, so this would be the cura 12 meter surface harrow so capable of working in an established crop just very very light harrowing of the surface. The idea being the, the growing crop will have a, a stronger root base than the than the weed. Therefore, as you pass through the pass over the ground, the weeds will be um, uprooted. Um, the sun will be able to to wilt and kill that weed, but the, the growing crop remains. Um, very very strong lightweight framework. Um, you'll see the spring arrangement on on these times. One thing that's um, unique about this machine, when you look at it, there's actually a spring in a spring. So there's a smaller spring in there. And what that means, as this, as this time comes backward, the, the, the pressure is kept the same throughout the, throughout the position. So it doesn't get um, more or less as it's, um, as it's working. It's, it's able to keep a very, very accurate work. Um, at our field days in the in the summer, we have one of these uh, these machines on 160 horsepower tractor. So really, really quite low horsepower. It pulls, pulls within a three meter transport. Um, again, support wheels. The support wheels are, are movable um, across the machine, and you can add them. So depending on the type of terrain that you're farming, you might add more or less of those just to be able to keep. Uh, Keep stability of the machine. This is the exciting bit. This is a brilliant way to lay down. So, with this machine, we're looking at the transformer. Um, this model is the Transformer 12 VF. Um, and what we've got is 12 meter working width. And uh, you can see here the machine set out for 25 centimeter quarter spacings. So, we've got uh, an example of how it would look behind a 12 meter avatar. Same machine, you can then work um, not only 25 centimetre row spacings, uh, 50 centimetres and 75. So, ideal for working in uh, sugar beet ground or not. It's a minimum of 25. Minimum 25. two cameras mounted on the machine. We can work with either a single or a double camera. You can see there's lights fitted so we are able to work at dust or even in the, even through the night. Um, the reason we've got two cameras fitted is it prevents the, um, prevents the problem of working in poor sunlight or particularly shady conditions. So 
both camera can um, relay messages through the system, so you're not um, you're not limited by false readings of shadows created by the tractor cab or the tractor wheels that, that might be uh, affecting the affecting the camera's vision. We can see we can see the example rows on the screen of what what would be crop and what would be. Um, um, available ground to hoe, and then we can see the steering system. So we've got the we've got the ram here in the middle that will side shift the machine um, through the camera system. Um, the machine will be side shifted to follow those rows um, to follow those rows perfectly. The machine folds within a three meter transport width. Um, if we take a walk around the back, we can have a look in more more detail at the actual soil engaging. So but at the moment, Gav, would that be on your ISO and you'd have this alongside you? Yeah. yeah, so that's, yeah. So we can see here, parallelogram linkage, parallelogram linkage, and each parallelogram has a hydraulic ram in there that enables full section control. So obviously when you come into the headlands, we can lift, we can lift these rows out of work to enable, uh, to enable section control. One other key point, when we look at the um, the harrows themselves that are um, engaging with the soil, they're a very um, solid fixture. So we've got a welded, a welded piece coming onto, onto the arm, and they're fixed with, with nuts and bolts that are, they're, uh, they're a true hole. Rather than a pinch bolt, which if it comes loose, that can then slide up and down and affect working depth and conditions quite severely. So it's a, it's a very strong um, system to enable accurate depth control. See also to aid depth control is the wheels at the front. So again, in light in lighter ground, they will um, they will just keep the machine working firmly at the at the depth we want. The, the pressure's just on these springs being held on as well as springs. The pressure's so being back. The pressure's being held on with those springs, although there, there will be going forward an option for a double acting to be able to put pressure onto the hole to, to keep them yeah. engaged rather than just relying on those springs. Um, and again, when it comes to depth adjustment, it's a very simple tool-free system where we can move the, move the, uh, move the, move the arm and just 